let's go. Denny Hamlin is back in victory lane. We got a lot to talk about. Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the race at Richmond today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to talk about the finish at the end. So let's get started. First off, we're going to start off with the racing product. The racing wasn't too good until the end, which I said we'll talk about later. But really, Ryan Blaney read, led every lap in the first stage. So that kind of set the tone. I wasn't here for uh, about over a half the second stage. I left my grandma's house around lap five. So I don't really know what happened. I'm going to have to look at a replay. But the last stage was pretty good. This race was kind of like Phoenix. It had a good finish, and it was kind of like a chiller race, I guess you could say, where you just relax and watch the race. At the end, it got pretty exciting. I keep saying that because I'm so hyped about Denny winning because he's my favorite driver. You know what? Let's just talk about that. So far this year, Denny Hamlin has gotten zero top tens. Well, obviously, except for this race that he won. He's got zero top tens. It's, quote-unquote, his worst season ever because um, on the broadcast of the Daytona 500, they said out loud that Denny Hamlin has never crashed out of the Daytona 500. He's always finished it, and this year Denny did crash out, so it's, quote-unquote, Denny's worst year ever. I think that's about to change because, obviously, today he won, but it he won in a weird way. In the end, it all came down to pit strategy. William Byron just stayed out completely. He, like, never pitted. Obviously, that didn't work out too well for him, but he's already in the playoffs, already has a win in the bag, so that doesn't really matter. But what does matter is that Denny Hamlin chose to stay out late, and I just heard it on Race Hub a couple minutes ago. I'm pretty sure it was with 36 laps to go. Denny Hamlin was a lap down, and with five laps to go, Denny Hamlin was in the lead. Now, how did that happen? Obviously, Truex had better tires than uh, William Byron, who was the leader, and Denny Hamlin had better tires than Truex. Uh, Truex was trying his best to get to William Byron, and he did, and all the lap cars were slowing both of them down, but eventually... Denny Hamlin came through to pass both of them and get the win. Now, I have to mention, Denny Hamlin had to pass Kevin Harvick, and he had to pass Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney, with all of them being a lap down to eventually get the win. So it's not like Denny Hamlin just came out of nowhere, stole it, and it's a Mickey win. He had to pass Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney, who... May I remind you, he, he led every lap in stage one. And then Kevin Harvick eventually um, rallied him back in the end, but got a nice second. And I don't know why, but the finish of this race kind of reminded me of the finish in the 2019 New Hampshire race. When Denny Hamlin was in second and Kevin Harvick was in first, they're both, um, Denny Hamlin eventually got to Kevin Harvick at the end, gave him a little bumper, but then uh, Kevin Harvick eventually won. I think it was kind of like flip-flop this time. Uh, I think Kevin Harvick was kind of being nicer to Denny Hamlin because Denny Hamlin raced him nice at New Hampshire. But Denny Hamlin had the best tires. He just flew past everyone. I mean, William Byron, he didn't even pit. So I, I don't... Obviously, he, Denny, someone was going to pass him. But Denny Hamlin had to fight Truex for a little bit. I think it was like a couple corners, maybe like six corners, a lap and a half. But Denny Hamlin had to work hard to get this win. So if any of you guys say it's a Mickey win, I, I would just click banned from my channel. That That's a joke. But I'm saying if you hate on Hamlin, I'm probably just going to like be mean to you. That's also a joke. But don't be mean to Hamlin. All right? All right? Also, I just have to mention this. Both the RFK racing cars looked exactly the same. Exactly the same. Like... They literally had the same sponsor, the same number, like, color, I guess. Well, not really number color, but, like, I, I don't know. I can probably maybe pull up a picture of it now, but it was just very weird. Then, talking about Denny Hamlin won the race, Denny Hamlin's team, 2311 Racing, did not have a good run today. 
I kind of predict predicted this. I knew Bubba Wallace wasn't going to be too good. Uh, I don't know where he finished, but uh, Kurt Busch had, he brought out the first caution. I don't really know what happened. I think it was like an electrical issue, something to do with the gas. And may I remind you that a GGR had a completely different pit strategy. And like, I'm not saying when they came in. I'm saying the the pit crew went around one side of the car and they it was a whole different fashion. They were hyping it up on Twitter. And apparently it worked because Denny Hamlin won the race. So maybe this is something that other teams have to look into. Or you can just not do that and JGR can win more. And I said this before. Just Denny Hamlin was 11 seconds back from the leaders. And he had to drive his way forward. Like, I don't know if there's a replay or anything. But there he was 11 seconds behind the leaders and reeled it down to get the win that's pretty insane anyways i'm so hype i can hardly talk so that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoy and just remember denny hamlin might be in the championship for this year